think, Doc? He's still in a deep coma. Radiation shock? That could account for it. Only you don't think so. Well, there's no doubt that he received a massive amount of rays when he shut down the reactor. So did Kowalski and Patterson, but you were able to send them back to duty. Well, let's just say the coma is much deeper than would seem warranted. And this anti-radiation unit isn't helping. So what are you going to do about it? When the knowledge in the medical books fails us, we doctors have one final resort. Yeah, I know. Wait and see what happens. Exactly. In the meantime, he's in no immediate danger, and they'll notify us if there's any change in his condition. Let's check out the contamination in the reactor room. Tell me about it. Perhaps, uh, perhaps there's something I can do. There's nothing you can do. I just have to remove you. Well, I'm sure that nothing as drastic as all that is necessary. But it is. There's nothing else I can do, you see. Absolutely nothing. Starring Richard Basehart. And 
David Harrison. Chief Sharkey, come in, please. Come ahead, Chief. Is that you, Mr. Morton? Right. What's on your mind? Uh, could, could you please come down to the Admiral's cabin? Please, sir. Is there something wrong down there? Yes, sir, very wrong. I think the Admiral's dead. You said you saw Captain Crane leaving the cabin. Yes, sir. What was that about a gun? He, he had one in his hands and a sidearm. As he came out of the cabin? Yes, sir. Did you say anything to him? I, th I, th I think so, sir. Something... Uh, something about, about it being a good morning. Then what did he do? Nothing. He just acted as though I wasn't there and moved off down the corridor. No, not the skipper. He, he couldn't do anything like that. It wouldn't be possible for him. I'll have a guard of honor posted. Chip. What else can I do, Doc? I'll have to arrest Lee Crane in suspicion of murder. No, no. I couldn't kill him. Captain. There's no use trying to call the Admiral. You did kill him, you know. Who are you? Does it matter? All that really concerns you is that you deliberately murdered Admiral Nelson in cold blood. No! <laughs> Is done. Admiral Nelson died by your hand. Even though it won't occur until tomorrow. Tomorrow? You're not making sense. The presumed realities of time and space are confusing only to those who are not familiar with the fourth dimension. The fourth dimension? You will find, Captain, that only in this area 
Are you in a familiar time-space continuum? Everything outside that door is in the world of tomorrow. And it is in that world that you killed Admiral Nelson. No. No, you're lying. It's not true. Now hear this. The burial ceremony for Admiral Nelson is about to begin. All work aboard Seaview will come to a halt. There will be five minutes of silent prayer and meditation by all members of the crew. No. They can't bury him. I am the resurrection and the life, saith the Lord. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. We brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. The Lord gave, and the Lord taketh away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Stop it! I didn't kill him! I didn't! Arrest him! He's alive! He's alive! I know he is! He's alive! According to the mighty working whereby he is able to subdue all things unto himself, we therefore commit this body to the deep. Amen. Secure the detail. We will take Captain Crane and place him in the brig. Everybody aboard the ship. 
You know I didn't kill the Admiral, don't you? Don't you? Come along, sir. Stand right there. report on Captain Crane. Is there any change in his condition? None at all. Still in a coma. He hasn't moved a muscle since he was brought in here. Uh -huh. You see, it's just as I told you. There's nothing we can do. Look for yourself. Be sure there's nothing more to be done. No results from this uh, anti-radiation machine? None. The machine is new, but it's been thoroughly laboratory tested. Mallory here has been completely checked out on its functions. Oh, uh, yes, Mallory. The biology lab at the Institute gives you an A1 send-off. Thank you, sir. I'd gladly give up the compliment if I could be of any help to Captain Crane. Well, keep trying. Admiral, the repairs in the reactor have been completed. We're ready to proceed. Good, good, Chief. Uh, head for Santa Barbara, flank speed. Aye, aye, sir. Do the best you can, Mallory. We'll be in the lab. Control the maneuvering. Maneuvering I. Set course 270. All ahead, one third. Bearing 270 relative. All ahead, one third. Aye, sir. Sir, uh, excuse me. Yes, Chief. About the skipper. I think maybe we jumped to a wrong conclusion. I'm not interested in what you think, Chief. I'm now in command of the sea view. You just follow my orders. Aye, sir. Get on engineering and make sure we don't have any further breakdowns during this cruise. I said. Well done, Commander. Where did you come from? Don't ask questions, Commander. Now it's your turn to follow orders. Take him! any more resistance. I couldn't kill less whether you live or die. Change course, Commander. Bearing zero, two zero, relative. That will take us directly away from Santa Barbara. That's right. And all ahead flank. Move. 
Maneuvering, this is the exec. Aye, sir. Lay form a course. Make it zero, two, zero. Aye, sir. All ahead, flank. All ahead, flank. Aye, sir. Excellent, Commander. Now I suggest you all resume your duty posts until we arrive at our destination. And then? I thought it was obvious to you by now. You're all going to die, of course. I'm not wounded. Of course not, Captain. That won't happen until some future time. What? What's happening to me now? I think you have some idea. The control room, huh? I, uh... I seem to be doing something in the control room. You will, Captain. When the time comes. Time? Tomorrow. That's when you killed the Admiral, remember? No. Now, you will take this submarine to an island I know of, and you will kill the crew. No. And then, Captain Crane, in a fourth dimensional sphere in which time and space exist in a manner which your weak mind could never comprehend, the people of this world will serve me as slaves for all eternity. No! <laughs> you're reading. Yeah, picking up a strange bounce at about 5,000 yards. Can you scan it? There's no clear definition, no, sir. Keep trying. Jim. What's happening here? I think Sonar's picking up your destination. I know it is, Commander. We're coming to the end of the journey for all of you. If we're going to die anyway, there's no reason to let you take us like this. Do you prefer the gun? Why not? What difference will it make to us? You're lying, Commander. As long as there's breath in your body, as long as there's hope, you won't choose death over the unknown. Ski. Ski. What's going on here? What's happening to all of us? Intensity's increasing, sir, but there's still no clear definition. Keep trying. What's going on here? Why don't any of you answer me? There it is, Commander. There's our destination. Any minute now, Commander, we'll arrive. And the death you wondered about will be here. Stop it. 
You've got to stop it. Stop it. this way. So maybe you better tell me. Put that gun Skipper. away. Hold it. I can't do it. No matter what you've done, I can't do it. Thanks, Chief. But I haven't done anything. I haven't done anything. Man, oh, man, you just killed the Admiral. That's all you did. And for all I know, you're responsible for all this. No, no, not for this or the Admiral. Not yet. Chief, have you ever heard of the fourth dimension? Fourth? Yes. Yes, sir, I guess so, yes. Do you know what it is? No, sir, I don't. I'm not sure anyone else knows what it is either. Except that it, it could be some sort of, uh, a different space and time that we don't know about. Different space and time? I think the Admiral was killed in it. The crew disappeared in it, and we're living in it right now. The only thing is it hasn't all happened yet. Yes, maybe it hasn't. But until it does, don't you think I ought to take it down to sick bay and have the doc give you a pill or something? I don't need a pill. Look out there. Well, there's nothing out there, nothing but blackness. But there should be water. Light refraction, something! Chief, is sick bay right outside that hatchway? What are you talking about? There's a corridor leading the sea deck! Then how did I enter this control room right directly through the sick bay door? Well, so what is the answer? There's a corpsman named Mallory. He's got a machine aboard that can throw everything into the fourth dimension. It's responsible for everything that's happened. Where is it? It's in sick bay. We've got to destroy it. Are you with me? What are we waiting for? away from the sea deck corridor. How do you fight something like that? We look for another way out. Come on. Sir, even if we get up there, the security guns patrolling the corridor is looking for you. If they're still aboard. See the vet of the flying sub. You check topside. I'll test the flying sub. Hi, sir. San Francisco thing looked like a piece of kindling. All right. You better give me a hand with this. Careful, Skipper. There's no telling what slide will come out of there. Now, let's go.
you think? I think we've been herded here. What? Our friend Mallory. He could want us to take the flying cell out. That's why all the other exits are blocked. Well, uh, do we go along with it? Do we have a choice? Damage my space time unit while escaping from sick bay. I, I would have been able to greet you directly, Paul. All right, Mallory. You brought me here, wherever we are, and I imagine the rest of the crew is around here somewhere, too. That's true. What do you hope to accomplish now? What are you going to do with all of us? Well, I'm experimenting, Captain. I have my fourth dimension unit, but I'm, I'm not certain as yet exactly how powerful it is, what its limitations and its abilities are. So that's what this is all about. You're using us as guinea pigs. You're testing 125 men in the sea view to satisfy your own personal curiosity. That would be a fair statement, yes. But why on us? Why on human beings? With a discovery like that, you could get the backing of every major power in the world. And give up what I now possess entirely alone? No, Captain. This way, when I've discovered exactly what I can do with it, the world will come to me. I'll be the one in power. A man who wants to play God. Why not? Wouldn't you do it if you were in my place? Wouldn't anyone? No, Mallory. Not anyone. Doesn't matter, Captain. You're here, and the next phase of my experiment is about to begin. What's it to be now? An attempt to see if the human mind can outwit my machine. You're in a jungle. You have no weapons, no sense of direction. You're in a maze. If you say so. But there's death all around you, Captain, behind every bush and every tree along every footpath. And you can throw out your usual book of rules. My machines erase them. Problem's a simple one. Get out alive. I'd say it was a rather interesting experiment, wouldn't you?
seem surprised to see us. Well, that's the understatement of the year. I thought you were all dead. We know that, but we don't know why or what caused you to turn into a mad killer. Mad killer? Well, whatever it was, we're proposed to put an end to it right now. I haven't killed anyone. You killed the Admiral and you shut down two of my buddies in cold blood in the control room. No, no, Ski, you're wrong. You can't lie out of it. We all saw you do it. What are we waiting for, Mr. Morton? Let's execute him now and get it over with. Well, he will. I want to hear what he has to say first. What can I say? You ought to know it wasn't me who committed those murders. Then who was it? Somebody, something from the fourth dimension. The fourth dimension. That's right, Chip. There's a machine aboard Seaview. Mallory made it. The Corman Mallory. He, he's using it right now to move us around in space and time. He, he, he's experimenting with lives, Chip. He's the one who's the mad killer, not me. You don't believe me, do you? No. Prepare for execution. Ready? <laughs> Let's go. Where? Well, I got this in the flying sucker. Come on. That way. Flying sucker. this long, did you? Frankly, no. You surprised me when you chose to jump over the imaginary cliff rather than face the more real danger. The other Lee Crane. He was a killer. It was a lesser of the evils. Yes, the fourth dimension unit created him. He is what you might have become in another time, another space. Oh, no. He's only what your warped mind's idea of the other Lee Cray might be. It doesn't matter. He already exists in the future. He has already killed. And he will kill again. And what about me? What happens to the Lee Cray of today, of this world? Of the solid, sane third dimension? You will die here with the others. Where's here? for yourself. An island located in the fourth dimension, floating in an endless sea of changing time and space. I first built my machine here, conducted my experiments. And now, where I will destroy you and the others of the sea, you are aware of them. You have nine minutes to live. What's that? Call it a death clock. Who's to say whether time moves forwards or backwards as death approaches? You have a little more. 
more than eight minutes at that time, this island will disintegrate into atoms. And what about you? Well, surely, Captain, you've guessed. I'm not even here. I'm where it's still yesterday. Back on board the sea view. In the sick bay. <laughs> I think so. Mallory, we know about fourth dimensions. But the flying sub's my baby. Can you manage the controls? I think so, sir. All right. What... what happened to us? I think we were hit by an electromagnetic field when we tried to launch it from the sea view. The side effect of the fourth dimension unit. Uh, even if you're right, all our main propulsion circuits must be blown. They are. Well, maybe I can jump the circus with a 135 T-bar. A 130? That's like putting a penny in a fuse box loaded with 10,000 volts. We'll be blown sky high. Well, we've got three minutes to find out. Prepare for takeoff. Nice, sir. Ready. Take off. Made it, sir. No, Chief. I'm afraid we haven't. Get off, sir. But that island's gone and all our men with it. We still might be able to save them. And the Admiral. How's that, sir? If we can get back to Sea View. And yesterday. Still yesterday in sick bed, Chief. If you say so, sir. But there's no way out of here except the flying sub, remember? I'm not so sure. Look at a grenade. It'll take one to make sure that machine's destroyed. Could blow up sea view. At least we'll die in our own world. Now wait here, I'm going through. Look out, sir, there's a tidal wave out there. Him that a good tour of duty wouldn't cure. Well, that's good to hear. Well, physically, it may be all right, but uh, I'm not so sure about him uh, mentally. You know? That uh, fourth dimension yarn. That you know, Admiral, my feelings could be hurt. Except, I never listen to a man who's been murdered and buried at sea. <laughs> Mallory, he was brilliant, all right, but uh, a little bit mad at the same time. I wonder if nothing ever happened to him after you destroyed that thing. I don't know. But there's one thing I'm thankful for. Mm -hmm. What's that? Wherever he is, that world of tomorrow that he planned for us will never happen. Mm. 
All right, Captain, you heard the doctor's prescription. Have the tour of duty to you.